Hi, I'm Lee Bertini, your host with Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We have a great lineup tonight. Tim Rebo, one of the great young coaches in college football, the head coach at Nichols State in Thibodeau, Louisiana. We also have one of his current players who's from Lutcher High School. We're going to introduce him later in the show. And also the head coach from Country Day High School in New Orleans, Joe Chango, who's done a phenomenal job. And his star quarterback, who's only a junior, will be joining us later in the show as well. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Don't turn that channel. We'll be right back. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Honey, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Swab yeah. drain. Call Roto Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Welcome back. I want to promote the magazines. I know the season's over. You know, it's, it's really tough when that final football game's over called the Super Bowl, and it's like 90 days of other sports. It's just tough. But, um, you know, this is the magazine. If you're a parent and you live in Louisiana and you can't find a magazine, the South magazine's to the left, the North magazine's to the right, and if you can't find it, go to our website, LAFootballMagazine.com. We sent it to the every high school coach in the state, and um, we're already working on our 23rd preview coming up, uh, which is incredible. 2019, uh, 23 years ago, starting this. And in, in my early years of doing the magazine, um, you meet a lot of people, you meet a lot of coaches, uh, high school, college level, and you see coaches move up. You see them start at the high school level. Now they're in college. Some of them are in the pros, like Doug Marone. I, I saw, you know, when he became the head coach of the Bills, I remember him coming in for recruiting to recruit Laplace and recruit uh, Greg Gathers at East St. John. I was eating at, at a Waffle House with Doug Marone, and I'm like, well, Doug's now the Jacksonville Jaguars head coach. Now our first guest, I remember when he was at Destrehan High School playing for state championships. I had a guy by the name of Ed Reed, Rondell Mealy. Went on to LSU and the Green Bay Packers, and Ed Reed's going to be in the Hall of Fame uh, this coming summer. And uh, that gentleman is now the head coach of Nichols State University in Thibodeau, Louisiana, since 2014. He's turned the program around, uh, and, and it's, it's got everybody fired up in the state and, and locally in South Louisiana. Tim Rebo. Tim, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Lee. Always a pleasure to be on your show, and I want to thank you for what you do for high school athletes across the state. I mean, giving them the exposure is just tremendous for those young men. Uh, and then, you know, Coach, I didn't know this, but your first job was Broadmoor? <laughs> yeah. Broadmoor High School? With, with Rusty Price at Broadmoor High School. 
uh, and I was there with Carl Dijon. What was your position on, I, on the staff? I, I would do anything. I was a gopher. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Waterboard. You know, we had, that was the year that we had Bucky Richardson, yeah. a quarterback, uh, who went on to Texas A&M. So uh, then I left there and I went to uh, Harry Hurst Middle School in Destrehan High School, and that's where I got my start. And then uh, what's your thoughts on Ed Reed getting in so quick? Oh, man, just he'd done a tremendous job. He was always such a, a, a great athlete. You know, he played all the sports and did everything. He was such a competitor, and I'm uh, just really happy for him and his family. Rondell Mealy. Yes. What a great running back. In Unbelievable his... running back. He had a really, really good career at LSU and in a couple years in the NFL. Uh, he, he has a son now. Can't talk uh, about him. But... You know, who's pl uh, playing high school sports. So... Uh, Rondell's doing very well for himself. And the other one that's committed to LSU, we can't talk about him either, but what a great lot of backs uh, at Destrehan, many of them over the years. Um, Coach, it's incredible, the journey. And, I mean, I remember seeing you at ULL mm -hmm. with Coach Hudspeth, and even before Hudspeth. With Rick, Ricky, Ricky Bustle. Bustle. Was that with Ricky Bustle, and, yeah. And talking to you about recruiting and, 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 and seeing UL take that other step. And then when, it, when people were talking back when, hey, who's, gonna, who's Nickel State going to hire? And, and your name kept coming up. I'm like, man, if they hire Tim, they're going to get Louisiana recruits. He's going to build it within. And, and that's what you did. I mean, you went out and signed the guy like that's going to come on to your player, your star defense end, Sully. Lache is going to come on later. But you went after those in-state guys to build your program. Yeah, you know, at UL, when we would go recruiting and we'd be Friday night, I would see you everywhere. We'd, yeah. we'd always be on the road and we'd always run into each other. And uh, there's so many good players in the state. And, and I was very fortunate to get the job. You know, I started my college career at Nichols in 1995. Uh, and I, so I feel like I've come full circle. But when I was there before, I was there with Darren Barbier and we talked about recruiting and then said, hey, uh, we do not have to go far to recruit. So. If I, when I got the head coaching job, and if I didn't do that, and if I didn't stay true to my word, you know, I, I felt I would be hypocritical. Right. So uh, there were so many good players, and you know, we went in there with a plan and a process, and you get some good players, and uh, we, we've had a little success the last couple of years. You know, where I, what I admire you, Coach, for is that a lot of college coaches now are scared to sign a quarterback that's not tall, and you were hired and. You took a kid by the name of Chase Forcade out of Archbishop Rommel, who might be six foot tall, and you're like, "That's my guy. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get him, and, and he's he, he's good enough. He's gonna be a great quarterback." And then all those D1 schools passed over him, and the job that Chase has done since his true freshman year. I mean, did you envision it being that fast with Chase, or was that something that? I know he was a good quarterback when he came out of Rome. Well, first of all, I, I think our staff does a tremendous job of identifying talent, uh, building the relationships, and then closing the deal and being there for him. But what we talk about in recruiting, we trust what we see. Uh, we trust it on film. We trust our evaluations, and, and it's worked for us. So uh, Coach Lee Russo does a good job in the River Parishes. Uh, and, you know, he was at Rome and he had a relationship with him. But, you know, we knew our quarterback situation, too. And we needed somebody to come in, and, and we sold Chase on being the, fo the face of the program. And he can come in early and come and play now. Uh, and, and we were just talking, me and Sully were just talking about their first game was uh, played against the Georgia Bulldogs, you know, in, in Athens. So uh, they, they got thrown into the fire right away, but those guys responded, and uh, they, they are now seniors. They're our, our up-and-coming senior class. So Almost been, won that game. Yeah, 26-24, we, uh, we had a shot at the end to get a stop and maybe kick a field goal and win it. But uh, we, we thought going into that game we'd have a chance because we were pretty good uh, on the offense and defensive lines. And, and if you can ha be good up front, then you have a shot in those games. I'll watch that game. I was watching. It was during, during the day. I remember. Uh, what was a noon game, Coach? Yes, it was an 11 o'clock game in Athens. It was incredible. Defense played great, seeing all those young Louisiana guys go at it and being out man but didn't wear down. Just It was it was, you could feel that the program was coming around, you know, it was changing, that they were believing. Yeah, you know, when, when we got there, it, after the 14th season, uh, Nichols was 0-12. So, you know, we took the job and said, hey, the, the only way we had to go was up. And, and, you know, that first year we won three games. Uh, and the next year is when those guys came in. That was a really tremendous class that we signed. 
and you know we end up winning five games that year and, and we knew we were we were in the process of building and building it the right way with the right players but my hats off to those guys that came in that first and second year uh, th didn't have a lot to show for it you know we had a plan and those guys believed in the coaches that we can get it done and now they've taken it over coach we're gonna take a break when we come back we've got highlights from three of your games this past year I did watch your southeastern game the whole game by the way um, which was a y'all played at southeastern it was a that was no a, this year was, was Nichols, this year was Nichols, in Thibodeau mm -hmm. but it was a heck of a heck of a, a statement again this year for them for your program we'll be right back finally got me Ben what's that Rick the Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. They try to fill it, but it always returns. Got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she she or she shed. She she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Bryan in Walker today. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, your host, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We've got some highlights of Nickel State that we want to show you. The first highlight is Kansas, University of Kansas here, Coach, if you want to take us through. Yeah, we took the opening drive, went down, and Dontrell uh, Taylor got in the end zone and really gave us a, a lot of momentum uh, uh, knowing that we can play with these guys right off the bat early on. You know, this is a game. Did Puka play in this game? No, he was he was not uh, ready to go okay. that game. I don't know for what reason he sat out. Uh, here you go. Here you see Chase throwing a Damian Jean Pierre deep ball uh, down the middle field. Makes a tremendous reach. And Another Rommel play. kid. Yeah. Uh, in Kansas, they had it. They, they finished pretty strong. This is this is Kendall Bussey right here. Oh, we caught yeah. him. We, we uh, went in uh, tempo right there. Caught him moving around, and Bussey took it untouched up the middle. Good pickup for you from A&M and Newman, Newman High yep, School. Yep, right on. This was, this was the game winner right here. Uh, it was overtime. Uh, they kicked the field goal. We got the ball second. Uh, and then uh, Chase called his number right here and got himself into the end zone. Good block, block by Bussy on the end. And uh, first, first Power 5 win uh, that Nick was had in the history of the program. That's amazing, Coach. Uh, we had been close, you know, the couple years before with Georgia, A&M, South Alabama. This is Southeastern. This game. was Southeastern, a cold night. Uh, this, you know, we're playing for the River Bell Classic. Amani Martin right out of East St. John with the big hit, causing a fumble. Uh, right in the first play, we scored the, the very next play. And uh, here's Don Trell Taylor taking it in. So we went up early 7 0. But River Bell Classic, you know, a big rival game against Southeastern. Uh, Frank Selfo is going to do a tremendous job over there. Here's Amani Martin on the second series. Causing a fumble again, and we went down the field and scored. So Johnny uh, on the spot for you, coach. Yeah, he was a really good football Chase player. Chase gets the most out of his legs uh, running the ball. You know, also, you know, we were we were playing for the uh, the conference championship right here, and we and we were playing for the automatic bid. 
uh, to get into the uh, NCAA a tournament here. So this here's is Julian, yeah. Julian Gums right here from, from De La Salle, freshman running back. Not a bad one. backup running back for him. No, we, we, he, he's done a good job. He's come in and getting in the end zone. He reminds me of Darrell Williams, coach, from John. Yeah, Hill. he's built low. He's very powerful. You know, he was a quarterback in high school, but we know he'd be a running back at this level. And, and, and much... Uh, I mean, this is a big win because, look, LSU played Southeast, and Southeastern was in the game for three quarters. Yeah, I just think it know? kind of snowballed on him. We got off to, to an early start on him, and, uh, we, you know, we had a lot more we were playing for. Here's our, here's our playoff game against San Diego. Tremendous home crowd. You know, we were undefeated at home this year. Uh, Damien Jean-Pierre taking the first play, and then here's that guy again, Dontrell Taylor, with a great uh, make-a-guy-miss and good burn zone. Yeah. Uh, again, we, we, I think, you know, the last – Five or six games, we really got off to a fast start, uh, and, and we jumped on it and scored a bunch of points early. And the defense was getting stopped. Look at those stands, coach. I mean, that's, that's that's tremendous. You know, we talked about it. There's Dontrell taking it again, the distance. If, if we put a good product on the field, the people in Thibodeau and the surrounding areas, uh, the River Parishes and the Bayou, they're going to support it, and they really come out and support. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of good players that you've signed and have, you've developed, done a good job develop them and. Uh, in recruiting, we can't talk about recruits, but where do you feel like to rebuild spots-wise? Well, we, we lost, you know, off this team, we lost some offensive linemen this year, so it's, we're going to have to uh, grab a couple, and some guys going to have to come in and play for us early on. Uh, defensive line, we got to give some help to Sully and Evan, those guys. We lost uh, Ron O'Reilly up front and Kenny Dotson, some guys who had been with us for a while, but we got some guys ready to step in. Here you see Ty Smith out of St. Charles Catholic. Uh, uh, taking it the distance. We had speed. We were running pretty good in that game and jumped out early and got the big win. Yeah, that's one position you're uh, pretty good at running back. You, you probably yeah, don't need yeah, as much we're, help we're there. Yeah, we're stacked up. We got everybody coming back uh, from, from this year's team. and you know, But it all starts up front, and those guys will be the first to tell you. But with, with a lot of weapons on offense, you, know, you can't just key on, do we stop the run, do we stop the pass, and that helps us up front. Coach, uh, re recruiting, having 63 scholarships, people don't really – realize that D1 is 85 and you have less than that with 63. You've got to make them work with tops and, 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 and you know, over your 63. It's not always a good You know, we can, we, can have, we can have a total of 85 on scholarship on aid where we're different from FBS is, is we can split a scholarship up. So uh, we maybe can take a guy who's currently on a team who was a non-scholarship player, uh, take two or three of them and split that up and, and put them on scholarship. So that's where it helps us. But, you know, every year is different. We, last year we had uh, a low number. This year we're going to sign a full class. We're probably going to sign a full 25 load because uh, so, we lost some seniors this year. Do you save any for transfers? Do you all look at that as much? I, I as think there's always going to be some attrition that you're going to have some yeah. spots and there's going to be something that comes open. you got to be uh, uh, conscious of that. Uh, do you still talk to some of your former DBs at UL, CC, uh, Brown, Spain? I mean, you had, you I, had I a lot of great I, ones. I hadn't talked to them. I mean, you had a slew of them at one time. Oh, yeah, and, and, and you know, one Lamar Morgan who, who's now gotten coaching, he's going around, and now he's, he's back at UL as, as the defensive back coach. So uh, we stay in touch with a lot of those guys. Coach, uh, we're going to take a break, early break. When we come back, segment three, we're going to talk more about the Nickel State program and, and coach head coach Tim Rebo. We're going to have Sully join us. Lasha, who's one of their great players, defensive end from Lutcher High School. We'll be right back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. 
Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. Finally got me, Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they try to fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash-talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Jim Crane in Baton Rouge today. I want to thank Superior Grill that's been a sponsor of uh, our company uh, for over 20 years. Uh, Bob Kershaw is the owner. Uh, they have a location on St. Charles Avenue in New Orleans and also two in Baton Rouge. The new one's on Highland Road. Be sure to check them out on Highland. Their original location in Baton Rouge is Government Street and they also have a location in Shreveport on Lyon Avenue uh, and they're in Birmingham, Alabama. They're everywhere now but uh, Bob is a Menden native, played football at Northwestern back in the day. Great family, support them, great Mexican food. Uh, we're joined by one of Coach Rebo's star, I'd say young players or older players. I mean, it seems like he's been there 10 years. He's still got a year left. Sully, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, special things happen when you're up here. You were here three years ago from Lutcher with your Lutcher jersey on. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how that you were going to prove people wrong, that you were going to go somewhere, make a name for yourself, and you were going to play college ball. And, and at that time, it was still kind of up in the air where you were going to go. Yeah. It's kind of worked out pretty good for you. Most definitely. Definitely uh, happy with the decision I've made. Um, I mean, I was undersized knowing that 6'1", 2, 260 going in. So uh, just yeah, everybody gets their opportunity. It's all on how you approach it. I mean, I went in there knowing there's an opportunity in front of me. So went there and uh, actually started my first college game. So it's really special. What do you think of this man here, your <laughs> head coach? Hey, he can say No it. words. <laughs> no words for him. I mean, just what he's done with the program speaks for itself, honestly. Um, he's there when you need him. He's like a second dad for me, you know. Uh, what about your class? I mean, it's special. you got a year left. Really special. Uh, a lot of guys coming back that you came in with that, that played mm -hmm. like you. What, what's it going to be like one more year with these guys? We've been playing for so long together now. It's, it's more of a brotherhood, actually. Uh, we text each other, make sure we're up before workouts because that's, that's really what leaders do. So um, just ready to get back after it. One last ride with them. It's going to be a special year. You know, I was watching that Georgia game way back, and uh, you know, you were talking about the loss. It was a close game mm -hmm. in Athens. And I was watching you and Evan, <laughs> and you know every tackle you made, I'm like, man, look at that! Look at those tackles these guys are making against yeah. Georgia in Athens, prime time. I and, guess we had a little extra chip on our shoulders going into there because we felt like we could play on that level, but um, they didn't think so because we were undersized. So we just wanted to try to prove them wrong. I think you had a sack in that game too, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yes, sir. Who was the quarterback at Georgia? That um, year? They had Easton. Easton was starting because he was a true freshman. They wanted to see what he had, but I think they ended up bringing the real starter back in because they knew that was about to lose. So yeah, man, and uh, Easton wasn't the same after after you sacked him. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting out at Washington. And uh, what was that trip like for you in the playoffs, going to Washington, Eastern Washington? Yep, um, somewhere I've never been. So uh, it was really special. Just get off the plane, snow snow's falling. From being from South Louisiana, you really don't see that that much. So uh, Coach Rebo hit hard whenever he said, this is a business trip. Don't worry about the snow. Just, <laughs> we're going out to win a football game. And we ended up coming up short, but uh, still a great experience. Um, for parents watching tonight and, and, and recruits, for parents, kids, any advice to them? Uh, one thing I'd like to say is that it's not easy playing 1AA, D Division 1AA. Mm -hmm. 
D1 football. It's not an easy, nothing's easy. But for someone that's watching, a kid that's watching, any advice to any kids or parents? Just go where your heart tells you, honestly, because uh, once you get there, they're yours, whether you like it or not. So you want somebody that's going to respect you, always keep in touch with you, be your second family, honestly, because you see them more than you see actually family, literally, you know. So uh, just somebody that keeps their word to you. It really means a lot. Coach, any, anything Yeah, to say? you know, you talk about the face of the program. This guy right here, uh, he had some other big offers, and then all of a sudden, this is where he wanted to come and play. You know, he's been All-American. He's done everything. He can play. There's no doubt with anybody in the country. Uh, the thing that I was worried about at Washington, that he wasn't going to come back because he loves to hunt and fish oh, and, yeah. and uh, getting up in Eastern <laughs> Washington. I was worried he was going to stay over Stay there. there. <laughs> um, you know, speaking of this past season, it's spring. You don't get a lot of time to, to rest. It, it's about to start again, Coach. Spring practice. Is yeah, not far our off-season program starts a little bit. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we're we're still out recruiting, and they spend a lot of time with Coach Greg, our strength coach, who does a tremendous job. So so they're in the weight room working out now. The coaches are, are back off the road. So we'll start some morning workouts and get going, and we'll start uh, spring ball on March the twentieth. Uh, and our spring game will be April the 13th. And, you know, the message is going to be to Sully and these guys is, you know, it's your senior year. It's going to go fast. Uh, and you got to enjoy the ride. You better enjoy every minute of it. We can't talk about recruits. <laughs> it's illegal, but we can talk about recruiting. And I was going to ask Coach Rebo, um, how do you feel about the class? Are you ready for it to be over? I know tomorrow's the day. Signing day is uh, on Wednesday. But are you ready for to complete this class? I think you're always ready to see uh, what new guys. I told the team this morning that, uh, you know, we're going to be adding 25 new guys to the roster to come in uh, with them and help them get to the championship uh, that we had this year. So uh, we enjoy that recruiting process. It gets a little, uh, at the end, it gets a little weary. But, you know, the relationships that we build on the road with these families and stuff is something special. So we really look, look forward to that. What I also like is when uh, you start winning, and, and like taking what you did with Nickel State from 0 and 12 to winning seasons and playoffs back to back, um, you get these big name Louisiana natives that leave these D1 schools, and now Nichols is one of the schools, like Kendall Bussey and some of these other guys that, that you were able to bring in. It's that's a good thing to have. For it's you as it's a coach. good now. Nichols is a little bit more respected. When when we first went in, just like when we went in recruiting, you know, uh, guys at that time didn't hey, this is where I want to go. I want to go to Nichols. But now you walk in with a Nichols shirt or a Nichols logo on, and people know the success that, that we've had along the way. And, uh, you know, the part of our business is we're going to get some transfers along the way. And uh, instead of having to maybe go beat down some doors, maybe they're looking at you when they want to come yeah. back home. And if there's three big-time O-linemen from Louisiana, D1 <laughs> schools, <laughs> remember Nichols stayed in the equation. Um, Coach, anything else? I mean, we're going to bring you back on. We're going to bring Coach Chango on the next segment, but you'll be rejoining us with Coach Chango. But any anything else that you'd like to say about Nichols State and your time at Nichols since 14 now? It's well, been, yeah, can't I, believe it's already been since 2014. Right, and like I said, those guys came in blind. They didn't know uh, we, we had a dream, uh, what was going to happen, and these guys made it happen. And here, here's a perfect example of Sully Lesh sitting right here is, is you can have all your dreams come true right there in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Uh, you, you don't always, you know, sometimes bigger is not always better. You, he said it, you got to go where your heart is and, and where people, this whole business is about relationships. Uh, and that's what we do down in Thibodeau. And so we're enjoying it. These, and now these guys are helping us recruit. One mm -hmm. of my favorite restaurants in Thibodeau is Polite's. <laughs> I'm a seafood guy, so mm -hmm. I know y'all probably been to Polite's restaurant. But Coach, we're going to bring you back. We're going to bring Coach Joe Chango on our next segment. From Country Day High School, he's done an incredible job with the program. Things are bright. His quarterback's coming on segment six. We'll be right back. Louisiana Office Solutions Company is the complete answer for all your office products and janitorial supply needs. From supplies for school or your home office, to styrofoam cups for your restaurant, to pallets of paper and cleaning supplies for your business. Choose from a large selection of furniture from chairs to desks for office or home, traditional and contemporary styles, or work with our design team to create a complete furniture layout for your building. So call or come by Louisiana Office Solutions Company on Florida at Lobdell, where everyone is welcome. 
Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. Handling a gator like this can be scary, and this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888. Or go to getgordon.com. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Welcome back, uh, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. I want to thank Drew Dillio, a former Michigan Wolverine, former Parkview Baptist High School, one of the top skill slot receivers to ever come out of Baton Rouge. He's now a State Farm agent. Support Drew Dillio. He's back in town. He's one of us again. He's done with college ball, had a little bit of a pro career, uh, ran a legit 4 3 40, one of the legit guys that could do it back in the day. But he's on O'Neill Lane in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Drew Dillio, and I want to go ahead and uh, introduce our next guest, uh, one of the great young coaches in the state, does a phenomenal job at Country Day High School in the New Orleans area, Coach Joe Chango. Lee, thanks, appreciate you having me, and young, I appreciate you describing me yeah, as young. Yeah, man, energetic, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I've had a chance to be around you in your coaching element. You know, I, I know the, the, the whole deal, go out before team, uh, go watch. They don't get too close to coach. He's trying to make sure everything's coming down. You know, nerves are starting up. But you're you got everything under control. Eric Alexander, former Tiger, sure. New England Patriots. Uh, small well, staff, but great staff. I got a phenomenal staff. Uh, in fact, a couple of my guys are former Nickel State guys. Um, both both played at Nickel State. Uh, probably about 15, 20 years ago, whatever it is. And uh, having Eric, who has been awesome, and, and these are all guys that have been with me the whole four years that I've been there. Uh, and I think that's important w with the staff is that continuity, and you have guys that stay with you, and we've had that. Uh, so we've really been blessed that way. And so, I, I, yeah, I got an awesome staff. I love working with those guys every day. In the program, I started seeing the program make that leap a few years ago when y'all were at Washtenaw Christian for a playoff game. And they hadn't lost there in like 10 years. And Country Day wins the game at Washtenaw Christian in the playoffs. And then watching you play against Episcopal High School in Baton Rouge, watching you against the Newmans and some of the programs. But the development of your players, Coach, I'm, I'm very impressed on the development and not many flags. I mean, the offense is well-versed. Your quarterback's going to be joining us. Justin's going to be joining, only a junior. Right. But... Are you an offensive guy or defensive guy? I am. I, I also call our plays. I also coach our quarterbacks. So Justin really can't get away from me at all. <laughs> um, he, he stuck dealing with me the whole day. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I've always been on the offensive side of the ball. I was offensive coordinator at Jesuit before I took this job, and uh, I've been offensive coordinator for most of my career. And so, you know, I still call our plays offensively, and, and so we work real hard to do things you know, offensively and, and look a certain way and, and, and operate a certain way, and our kids do a good job. Uh, we have been lucky to have some very talented guys in the four years that I've been there, uh, Justin just being one of those those guys. But we've had, you know, I have a receiver now who's at Kent State who played for my first year in that Washtenaw game, Trey Harrell, and uh, we've had some guys go play college football. Will Nolte was played for us. He's uh, just earned a scholarship at the University of Kentucky. Uh, so we've been blessed with players, yeah, too. I mean, yeah. it's just, I appreciate you thinking it was all yeah, coaching, but, yeah. you know, we've had some good players there, too, which really helped. Well, your quarterback, you want to uh, show a little love with him before we bring him on? Justin Abietta. Justin Abietta. Only a junior. Only a junior. Uh, you know, Justin's a real interesting case. When I first got to Country Day, he was an eighth grader who was not playing football. 
And so when he was going to be a ninth grader, I kind of said, hey, man, you got to come give this a shot. I think you could be pretty good at it. And so when I knew he had a good arm. He's a baseball pitcher, and he's a tremendous athlete. He's a, he was a big dude as an eighth grader. Uh, and so we talked him into it as a ninth grader, and, and luckily he decided to stay with us. And last year he started as a sophomore. Uh, and then this year I think he just really, you know, broke out and, and proved to a lot of people the quality of a player that he is. You know, I really think the dude's going to play on Sunday someday. I do too. Um, I agree. I really believe that strongly. And, you know, I've, I've told him that you know, he still has a long way to go, and we yeah. have a lot of improvement we can yeah. do between now and then. But, you know, someone's going to, you know, he's, the recruiting's going well for him. He's going to end up somewhere. They're going to be happy with him. And I think we're going to be hearing a lot about him in the future. Coach, he reminds me of a Zach Mettenberger with better feet. Yeah, he's got really six, good feet. Four, yeah, six, he's a big five. dude, real strong arm. He's got good feet. I mean, he rushed for 1,000 yards this year. I mean, just to give you, aside from the 3,000 yards he threw for, he rushed for another 1,000 and 17 touchdowns rushing. Um, so, I mean, he's, he really can do some damage. I don't, he's not going to make his living with his feet, but right. he certainly can extend plays. He, he's, a, he's a factor in our rushing game, and uh, he, he's, I'm glad we have him for another year for sure. I remember a tall kid in a small division not too long ago by the name of Eli Manning. He was at a 2A school uh, back then, 1A. 6'4 was about 180. Yeah, uh, Justin's bigger than he yeah, was at that now. time, but yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter where, a, yeah, I mean, it's. He's got a high IQ. He's a smart kid. He's a competitive kid. And I think, you know, the more he learns about football, the, the, the better and better he gets at it every time we go out there. Joe, your background, uh, you're a New Jersey native, man. I am. If, if anyone, Tulane, you came here for Tulane. Anybody's right? watching, if you haven't figured out from my accent yet, <laughs> uh, I, I was born and raised. Jersey. In, yeah, I was born and raised in North Jersey. And uh, I came down here in, in 95 to go to Tulane. And. Uh, my father used to come here on business a lot, and that he was the one that suggested Tulane. And okay. We came to visit my junior year of high school during Mardi Gras. And so we Sold, were on, right? Yeah, we were Done. on a parade route on a Thursday Done. night, and I was out there, and I looked at my dad and said, I think I'm going to come to Tulane. <laughs> he said, we haven't even visited the school yet. And I said, it doesn't matter. This is where I'm coming. In fact, I, I applied to Loyola, too, <laughs> when I found out it was right next door because I was coming to New Orleans. I'm you know? done. Yeah. Um, so I've been, you know, I, I've been lucky to, to – to, be raised in a place that's awesome, like New Jersey, with you know great family. But, but an interesting background with you. You were telling me that even though you didn't play football in college, your dad was a coach growing up. My and dad you were around it all day long. My whole life. Uh, my dad started our youth program in my town in the 1960s, like 1964 or something like that. He ran it for 30 years. Um, him and my uncle. So we all. I have four brothers. We all played football in my dad's program, and then we all went to the high school. He was very close with our high school staff. Uh, one of the closest people in my life was my offensive line coach from high school. He was one of my dad's best friends. Man. And uh, so yeah, I grew up in a football family with a football background, and not really a surprise I'm coaching football. I, I like the other story too that one of the former alums of your high school, Tony Saragusa. Yeah, so Tony, well known with the Ravens, played a long time right. as a D lineman. Well, so Tony played for my dad, and then uh, so my offensive line coach, a guy by the name of Mike Londino, is an older guy now, a brilliant guy. People ask him all the time. So Tony Saragusa must be the best player he was you one ever coached. One of the coached. best D linemen in the well, league. Actually, he must have been the best player you ever coached. He says he wasn't even the best Saragusa I ever coached because uh -oh. he has a younger brother Elio who was a great That's high, scary. School, high school That's player. Scary. Yeah, uh, so everyone laughed. But yeah, Tony was a you know a proud uh, product of, of David Brearley High School where, in Kenilworth where we grew up and. Uh, we had a lot of good guys come out of there, and I was lucky to be part of that when I was a kid. And you said there was a pipeline at one time to the University of Pittsburgh. We had a lot of kids go to Pitt. Uh, when Mike Godfrey was the head coach, and Sal Sinceri, and uh, Frankie Delonzo, guys. Uh, in fact, when Sal got hired with Nick Saban at LSU, I was at St. Charles Catholic with Coach Monica, and I called him and said, hey, man, you might not remember. I was like 10 years old last time you saw me. He was like, yeah, I remember you. So we got to go up and visit with him, and I took my dad up there to go see him. He just him. hired Sal again. So did he really? Yeah. Back in Alabama? Back in Alabama. I didn't even know that. So, uh, yeah, so some great – Some I've, I've been lucky to be around some great people and, and some great football, and um, it's part of what I am. Coach, Country Day has lights now. People do. don't realize outside of New Orleans that you don't have lights for night games. In fact, when I got called about the job, Mike McGuire called me. The only thing I knew – was that they played 4 o'clock on Friday afternoon. I didn't know anything <laughs> else. I didn't know where the school was, crazy. nothing. I just knew it was a 4 o'clock play. And, uh, so it's been awesome yeah. to add the lights. We had a great atmosphere this year at our semifinal game under the lights, and uh, so we're excited about that. Look, we're going to keep you here, Coach. You're going to bring Coach Rebo back. Great. We can't talk about recruits around no Coach Rebo, but we're going to talk about the Dome and your thoughts Got of the setup with the high school coaches. Maybe get Rebo's take on that when we come back. And then later in the show, his star quarterback from Country Day in segment six. We'll be right back.
Johnny, what's wrong with the disposer? What disposer? Frog drain. Call Roto-Rooter, America's neighborhood drain expert. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Relief Windows! Well, it finally happened, Zachary. Somebody burned down my she shed. Nobody burned down your she shed, Cheryl. Well, my she shed's on fire. Your she shed was struck by lightning. Zachary, is my she shed covered by State Farm? Your she shed's covered, Cheryl. You hear that, Victor? I'm getting a new she shear she shed. She shear? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful news. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent David Wilcox in Gonzales today. Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky, too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back, Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We've been rejoined by Coach Tim Rebo, Nickel State head coach, and also we still have Coach Joe Chango, Country Day. Uh, we had Sully on a minute ago, big star DN from Lutcher High School. We can't fail to mention this, man. He uh, was third in the Southland Conference with 8.5 sacks this year and 17 losses, tackles for losses, 17. That's a lot for a DN. And then sophomore year, unbelievable 16 solos, 26. Freshman year, 29 solo tackles, 60 tackles as a freshman. Coach, the end. Tough spot to get that. Yeah, let me, let me tell you something. Good players make you a good coach, and uh, we got to go get some more like him so we can <laughs> continue to be good for a while. Mold him. Mold, mold. Let's <laughs> get the mold. Uh, coach Chango, this year, 5,520 yards of offense. It's amazing. Yeah, piggyback on what Coach just said, good players make you look like you know what you're doing as a coach. Um, and so we were lucky with some guys that we've had. Uh, threw for 2,629 yards, ran for 2,891 yards. That's a good balance. Yeah, I, I think that's something that we, we don't necessarily talk about it as a function of, you know, we want to be 50-50 or right. we want to call plays in a certain way. Uh, but at the end of the day, if we feel like we're producing our – I mean, we might have called 30 passes and 12 runs, yeah. but if the, the yardage is balanced, that's balanced, you, not the number of plays. You were offense coordinator at Jesuit once upon a time. Right. And you had a guy by the name of Foster Morrow at once upon a time at tight end. Did. Foster was uh, a – I was – Foster – was our tight end my junior his junior senior year I was the offensive coordinator at Jesuit we won a state championship his senior year and you know he was a heck of a player we had another good real good tight end on the team Alex Rabelais who probably would have yeah. started anywhere else had we not had Foster Morrow on our team uh, but Foster was a heck of a player for us had an awesome career at LSU was real proud to see what he has done and uh, looking forward to hopefully see him get drafted here some, in the in a mid round some people are up. saying second round now that'd be awesome six six and a quarter 260 faster now I yeah, yeah like he, wasn't a, that, he wasn't that fast when he was with us. Hey, 4'8 yeah. on 260, not bad, 6'6. Six, yeah. six. Uh, hands, it might go to one of those winning tight end programs. So maybe the Patriots, maybe a Saints. You um, know, unfortunately, you I'm a know. Jet fan, so I'm sure he'll end up yeah. with the Are you a Jet fan? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. All right, I got to ask yeah. you this. I worked in Jersey. I worked in uh, all over New Jersey, Orangeburg. I worked in uh, New York. I worked in the Bronx. Uh, worked all over the, the, the uh, Suffolk County, all of those areas but I never could understand the Jets and the Giants well when I they're was, so close they are, when I was my family's really giant fans but my best friend had jet season tickets so when I was a kid we used to go to jet games and I root for the Jets that's how it happened and what I kind of like being the guy that wasn't rooting for the Giants in my family you know what I mean that was that's like thing. having the Saints and someone else yeah I can't believe right right yeah, in your own backyard that would be there's crazy. enough people we, we right. could, there's enough people up there to split it up you know what I mean can you imagine if the Rams and the Chargers would have made the Super Bowl both from LA that's crazy yeah 
Well, we don't. I don't think we have to worry about that. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that in New York. That's for sure. I don't see the Jets making a Super Bowl right, anytime soon. So the Jets. It's been since the Miami Dolphin game rivals of Dan Marino. When are they going to come back? Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping soon. I mean, it's been a long time. Luckily, I don't get any Jet games now living in New Orleans. I get to watch the Saints, so I, I don't get, I don't, I'm not burdened with that. Wesley Walker was my favorite Jet player, wide receiver. Yeah, Wes Walker was a great player. He was a yeah. great player for them. Richard Todd was probably one of my last favorite Jet quarterbacks. I was, Wayne Corbett was a great receiver for him, too. Wayne for a number of a little small guy. I always liked those guys, the smaller guys. Came out of a, Hofstra. Came out of Hofstra. Yeah, yeah, we played oh, against yeah. Hofstra oh, my, my first year when uh, – Oh, it was in 95 in Nichols? Nichols? Yeah. yeah. We That's went to Hofstra. There, huh? yeah. That's right. Played at Hofstra? Yes. There you go. Yep. Overall Smaller. record, Joe, 35-12 yeah. and 12 at the school. Um, what are you excited? I know we can't talk about your quarterback in front of coach, but <laughs> what is your projection with spring coming up? You lose a couple of players, key players. We do lose some key guys. Um, and, you know, we'll just go back to work and, and, and try to fill in those spots that we're, we're missing. Uh, we're excited about spring. We usually try to really make spring fun and competitive. Uh, we don't play a spring game, and we don't get into a lot of X's and O's during the spring. We do a lot of fundamental work, a lot of competitive stuff. Uh, really just get out. Practices are only about an hour and 20 minutes long in the spring. And just Schedule's made already? The game schedule? Yeah. We, I got one opening still that I'm working on, but um, I'm work, week five we're still working on opening. But we're going to open up with East Jefferson. Uh, we're going to play De La Salle oh. next year, which Whoa. is going to be a game we're excited about. Okay. Ryan Manali and I have talked a lot, and we're excited about that. We're keeping Episcopal, which has been a great game for Good us game. for a number of years. And, uh, and then we've managed, because we're going down to 1A, and we're no longer going to be in a district with Newman, we've managed to kind of work it out. So we're going to keep them on the schedule for week four as well and keep that rivalry going. So you want me to promote week five is open? Week five is open. But we, we, I might even keep it open if, if I don't find something I like and then we start district the following week. Right, so. you know, injuries. Are yeah, you know, you are, that, yeah. Come, that first four games are going to be tough and, you know, good components with EJ and De La Salle and Piscopal and Newman. So, you know, we'll see what happens. What, what do you think, Coach, about open dates in college football? Listen, uh, my, my first two years there, we were open the, the – opening week of the season. So you get ready fall camp, you all through August, everybody else gets ready to play that first week and you got an open date and then you go play 11 straight. So it, if it is in the right place strategically, uh, last year I think it worked for us. Uh, it, it was week five or six and then you, you know you go on and you finish your season. So it could help you heal up uh, mentally as, as well as physically. The future of the Southland Conference, very tough conference. Now you got Incarnate Word. It's their big time program coming up out of Texas. Stephen F. Alston's always good. Sam Houston's always good. Southeastern's got Frank Selfo. McNeese hired a new coach. Um, yeah, I, I think if you just look right here in the state, I mean, it, it's so tough with Northwestern. Uh, Brad does a great job at Northwestern. Now McNeese and Southeastern. And, and then you have the, the regular player, Sam Houston, in it. So listen, every, every week in and week out, you better be ready to bring your A game. Um, I tell you guys, it's been a joy having you here tonight. Uh, your your quarterback's coming up next. We're going to talk about him, but you don't leave. You're going to leave with Louisiana Fish Fry products, man, from our guys in Superior Grill. And uh, any last thoughts, Coach Chango, Coach Rebo? I, I, I want to say what, what, what he does at Country Day, man. Just tremendous. Love going to watch those guys. Uh, you, you love good coaching and good programs and doing it the right way. He's done a tremendous job. Uh, Coach, I, I appreciate that. I mean, it's a lot. And we've enjoyed watching you guys. You know, I got a couple guys on my staff that are big Nickel State yep. fans and um, love going down and see them. So we've gotten down to see some games, and so it's yep. been fun. Well, good luck to both coaches in a 19 season. And before we know it, it will be practicing again, right, guys? Yep. That's it. All right, we'll be back. We've got a, a great young quarterback joining us from Country Day when we come back. Delta World Tire is 100% committed to making every part of your experience with us hassle-free and pleasant. Whether it's tires, brakes, oil change, or scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire's highest priority is serving you. If you're traveling this season, Delta World Tire is here to help you make sure your vehicle is road ready. If the tire needs replacing, the oil needs changing, or any other scheduled maintenance, Delta World Tire wants to make sure you get there. We're Delta World Tire. When you come to Relief Windows, your experience starts here. Or here. Then we come to your home. We measure twice. And then we bring custom windows to your home. We remove your old windows. Install your new windows. Clean our mess. And we make sure you're completely satisfied. 
And all of this before you pay a dime. And at Relief Windows, our number one product is customer satisfaction. Ben. What's that, Rick? The Clark Street Crater, the mother of all potholes. For decades, it's tormented the people of this town. <laughs> they find a fill it, but it always returns. <laughs> got me good. But you know, State Farm's got you, too. You ain't nothing! Are you trash talking a pothole? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call or visit State Farm agent Bill Barkas in Baton Rouge today. Handling a gator like this can be scary. And this is pretty risky too. But do you know what's really dangerous? Dealing with the insurance company after your car wreck. If you've been injured, get a fighter. That's why you need to call me. I'm not afraid to handle them, and I'll fight to get you every dollar you deserve. So if you've been hurt, hire a professional. Just call me, get it done. Get Gordon, get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. Welcome back. We want to thank the Ryder Clinic. Before we introduce Justin um, from Country Day quarterback, we got some highlights on him that we want to show. And uh, we'll get those highlights ready of him. Actually, the Coach Chango's on the set. He can actually go through them with me uh, when we get those highlights up. But this is a phenomenal kid. Uh, Coach, this is a... a Again, stay meet early in it. For week one here. Not, not an easy one with Shopshire and those guys. No, no. It was that, that team went on to beat a whole lot of people by a whole lot of points, so this was really an exciting Is that your boy Becknell? Day for us. Yep, that's yeah. a touchdown to Becknell there early in the, in the game. Rolling out with your feet. This is a good good college throw here, man. Um, There's a heck of a little catch from, by uh, C.D. St. Hilaire, a little yeah. uh, junior receiver we have. He's about five foot five. The field looks kind of wet, too. This kinda. is the game winner right here. Yeah, it was a wet, it was a wet week. Uh, that's the game-winning touchdown right there. He gets flushed out the pocket, throws it to Tyler Williams. Newman. This is against Newman, uh, which we were down 31-14. Boy, what a great strike over With uh, six minutes left in the game. This is the start of the second half. That's Ross Talbot right there, our tight end. Um, that was the first drive. That's, that's where you got hurt right there. I like how you, you continue to play. You look for your secondary receiver, Justin. Yes, sir. Our coach taught us. Uh, if you don't have anything at first, just keep working it. A lot of people nationally don't understand that you're a big guy and you can roll out and throw on the run. Uh, that'll be recognized not too far from now once the summer hits. But um, what do you think you need to work on? I mean, you've got the arm, you've got the size, your feet in the pocket are pretty good. Yes, sir. Um, I need to learn how to read defenses more. That's been my main problem is just I started football late uh, for high school. I didn't play until sophomore year. So just getting more acclimated with the sport of football. Justin Abietta, a great junior, going to be a senior next year. Um, who do you like? I mean, what, who did you grow up watching? And, and, um, and of course, growing up in New Orleans, since I was born, I watched Drew Brees play. Love the way he of course, studies the game a lot. He's a very accurate quarterback, one of the greats. But also, my favorite player as of late is Aaron Rodgers. Just oh, watching okay. him, he, he's pretty amazing with some of the throws he can make. Not a bad quarterback. <laughs> College-wise, who's your college team that you grew up uh, admiring? Um, I've watched LSU my whole life. My mother played there, so my family's always been a big LSU fan. Mother played volleyball, they're not football. Yeah, yeah volleyball. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, you play basketball too. Yes, sir. Are you yeah. a center, forward? What are you? Uh, forward, guard, whatever. Our you team a little two needs. guard? Yes, sir. Come on. Not bad, man. That's some good highlight film stuff too for college <laughs> coaches now. A quarterback yes, playing two guard. That reminds me way back that a guy named Tommy Hodson that was out of Central Lafouche. He was offered by Stanford in basketball, he ends up going to football with LSU. 
and became all SEC three times. Foster Morrow. I was Foster was a basketball guy, and that yeah. was one of the things Ensminger told us was and when I saw him play basketball is when I really became interested in him. Justin, the rival games you have, I call them rival Newman. Seems like Episcopal is like a rival for y'all out of district. Anybody you enjoy playing the most uh, that gets you pumped up? Well, the Newman game has been big. We always have a large crowd there. It's very exciting with the rivalry we have going with them, especially because our students and their students are very close. Other than in the games, we're complete rivals. Uh, I was at the Episcopal game your sophomore year, and nobody was open, and you decided, I'm going to take it. I'm going to tuck it, and I'm running. It was third and eight. Y'all were kind of on the 30-yard line of, of Episcopal. And sure. you put your shoulder down. That impressed me. You came, you were going full blast, taking on, might not be the something you want to do in college. <laughs> Your coach might not want to see it a lot. But you took on a couple of linebackers and got out of bounds, made the first down, pulled the ball out, got the first. That impressed me. Yes, not sir. scared to run it. No, sir. I like running it. I feel like I've got just as much an advantage with my size running the ball as standing in the pocket. Coach, do you think that's a sleeper part of his game? For uh, sure. You know, as a sophomore, he we didn't have a lot of designed runs for the quarterback in his sophomore year, but it would be a pass play that he would have nobody in pull down, kind of like you said at the Episcopal. And early on, he was having some good runs, and then eventually we got him to understand run a little lower, and then lower in his shoulder. That was a playoff game late in the year. And then this year, we added a lot into the run game for him, which I think just really expanded his ability to run the ball. and and his vision running the ball. And so he's done a really good job with that for us, uh, certainly over the last year. You season. counted for 55 touchdowns running yeah. and throwing. Not bad. Yeah, it was exciting. Over 1,000 <laughs> yards. I don't remember a 6'4", 230 quarterback with 1,000 yards in high school football in Louisiana. Not, not that size. <laughs> I mean, not, not bad, man. As our coach said, he worked this year to design a lot of runs, get, get me to get yards, our offense going as however we could. So this is your time to, to be in the spotlight statewide. Anything you want to say? Any, any shout outs to any family, mom or dad? Anything you want to say? Um, I, I don't know. I'll shout out my mom. She's helped me out, like, especially getting me to come to Country Day. She helped talk me into playing football even I was on the fence at first, but yeah, she's helped me with everything. Did a good job, man. That mom's gonna like that, huh, Coach? <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. That helped me out a lot too, with mom. So, Coach, good yeah. luck to you this coming year. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate good it. Good luck to you, Justin, this coming year. We want to thank, thank you. everybody for being on tonight. Uh, everybody's gonna get Louisiana fish fry and Superior Grill gift certificates. We'll be back uh, next week. Got a great lineup. We'll the show will be played all week in Louisiana. Louisiana Football TV Magazine. We'll see you next week.